Hey, my name is Alex from alexfergus.com and today we're going to unbox the Juve Max red light panel. So, uh, I've been using these panels for a while. As you can see, I've got the original here up on the wall. Um, so, this has just arrived. I'm going to take you through the unboxing and see what's inside, see what it comes with. Uh, we're going to do a quick little overview, um, see how big it is, you know, how heavy it is, how to set it up. We're going to set it up on the wall. Uh, we'll turn it on, obviously. Um, and we'll do a really quick comparison between the original. I don't want to go too detailed with the comparison today because I will be doing a separate video where I look at the Juve Max, the Juve Original and the Juve Mini and we're going to do a full full overview of, you know, costing, size, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, today's going to be more about like practical applications, setup, what's included. Um, yeah. So, before I continue, if you don't know what red light is, head over to alexfergus.com or check out the links below because I've got a few articles on red light therapy and how beneficial it is. I've also got reviews of the red light original and the red light mini. Uh, so all of that will be on my YouTube channel. Uh, and if the comparison video is not yet up, be sure to hit subscribe because that will be coming up in the next few days. Um, real quick as well, the Juve Max is the biggest one of the Juve range. Um, costs around two and a half thousand US depending on, depending on what version you get. So they do a uh, combo one which is 660 nanometer and 850 that's what I've got here they also do 100% uh, near infrared which is 850 or 100% um, 660 okay so I've gone with the mid-range one they are expensive the the big one I mean it's a big chunk of money but once once you see how big it is especially in comparison to the original you'll see that like it actually is kind of worth it because you get so much more surface air exposure by the way um, if you use code alex a-l-e-x when ordering juve light you will save a few dollars anyway enough of that uh let's unpack this it's gonna be interesting because it is a really big box like it's a huge box um so let's hope i can do it all, all on my own All right, as you can see, it is rather big. It's huge. So we have two, two, four, six, eight, nine, 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 six, 16 panels. Did I count that all right? Three, six, yep. Uh, so 16 panels. And now we, when we compare that to the mini down the bottom two and uh, the original, just five, you can see how much surface, surface area there is. Let's take a quick look at it. So. It's pretty thick, it's about two inches thick here. Oh, this is metal, so it's it's solid. It's not like some of those grow lights you see on eBay that are just plastic. Uh, plenty of fans on the back, so there's a fan for each panel. Does mean it puts out a little bit of noise when you fire it up, just like a soft sort of background were. Um, and there's spaces here, so it's not gonna damage the wall. Uh, when we look at the bottom, I think this is, or maybe it's the top. This must be the top. Uh, we have the power switch and then these little um, connections here, which we'll use to hang it up. And then down the bottom, we have the power plugs and some feet, so you could rest it on the floor, because it's big enough. It is rather, <coughs> sorry, it is rather heavy, bulky. Um, so I mean, you know, I can handle it by myself, but if you're putting this up on a wall, you may need two people. So it also comes with a few uh, cables booklets. So let's quickly run through this. We have the instruction booklet. I had one already open. So pretty much this is got a bunch of benefits, reviews, how to set it up, uh, frequently asked questions, how to use it, and um, technical specs. So you've also got these door adapters. So the idea is these just wedge over the top of the door or hang on the top of the door and then you can have hang the light from this hook here. Um, unfortunately, this isn't wide enough to uh, fit over any of the doors in my current house. So I can't actually do that. So they're no good at the moment, which is a shame. We are moving, so um, maybe in the new place we'll be able to use it. All right, and then it came with all these cables. 
Now the idea behind these cables is uh, so you can hang it up on the wall. So if you look over my shoulder here, I've got the original hanging uh, these bolts and then this pulley system hanging from the wall. So you can do that with this one, which is what I'm going to do right now. So I actually had to refer to the manual here because in uh, the package with the original and the mini, it comes with this pulley adapter, which is what I have up there. So if you've seen the videos for those unboxings and set up, you'll see me uh, lowering it and raising it with these adapters. So I was wondering, okay, well, there is no adapter for the Max. And then I looked at the instructions and um, it states here, choose a set of support cables for the desired height of your dev device. So what that means is, uh, well, what I realized then is there's a bunch of different cables in here uh, of different lengths, okay? So instead of using the pulley system, you just use a predetermined length. So um, to make it easy, I think I'm just going to go with one of the shorter ones. So let's go do that now. All right, so you can see the different lengths there uh, for hanging it up. So that's instead of the pulley system. So um, I'm going to uh, figure out which cable I need and then um, get them installed. So installation is actually rather easy. You just take these hooks, oh, these cables, I mean, screw them on like so. Take the carabiner. Clip them on like that. And then if you're using this on the door, you take the door hinge and that will simply click over like so. So, so you do that twice because there's four uh, or two lots of cables there. Oh, bit of a twist there. But I don't have the door frame. Instead, I'm going to hang it on those hooks up there. That's done. So what I need to do now is take this and hang it up there. Now in the instruction book it says use a second person. Fortunately I'm home alone and there's no one around to help me. Uh, it is quite a heavy device but um, I figured I'm big and strong and I lift weights for fun. I should be able to figure it out. If not, you're going to see an epic fail on camera. So let's go do this now. Actually, real quick, you don't even need to hang this. It does have the stoppers on the bottom, so you could simply sit it against uh, the wall and have it on the floor. Um, if you didn't want to just sit on the floor, you wanted to lift it up a bit, you could put it on, on a box or you know a piece of wood and lift it up that way. You don't have to hang it. Of course, if you want to hang it, you can use the, the wall brackets, the back of the uh, door brackets. Um, Uh, and yeah, you can hang it on the back of the door, back of the closet, uh, you know, like in your wardrobe or something like that. It's a uh, handy place to have it. I'm putting it here in my, it's kind of my living room office. Um, and I'm here for a few more weeks and then when I move, I'll put it in the office for good. Uh, but yeah, you, you're not sort of limited to where you put it, especially with those door, black, door brackets, as long as they fit on your door, because unfortunately they don't fit on my door. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's see if this is going to work. And I realize I need to put longer things on. Alright, I've hung it up there. But, as you can see, my measurements aren't really right. <laughs> Not even close to. Uh, in fact, 
Those brackets were already there, so I just hung them on that. But I'm not going to do that because I think it's going to be too much strain coming through those two points. So what I'm going to do is um, take that down, and because I'm in here for a few more weeks, I'm just going to set it on a box to get it at the right height. And uh, when I get to my new place, I'll measure it all up and, and put it in properly. So I'm going to take that down now, and then sit on the box. All right, so I've got it there, sitting on a box. I'm going to go all the way back so I can get it all on screen. So it's just sitting on the box. Uh, it's not hanging from the top now, which is actually a pretty good height because if you see me standing here next to it, it's pretty much in line with my head uh, and I'm getting full coverage from the knee up. Let's see if we can get this on a better angle. The box is everywhere now. Yeah, so you can see it's pretty much head height and just below the knees. And um, yeah, I do have the original just hanging next to me. Uh, that's so I can get rays on the side. And then yeah, I've got the little mini down there, which uh, I actually want to put over my head so it's coming down on me. But that's the setup. All right, so uh, sorry it was so long getting all that set up. But you can see the size difference here between the Max and the original. So the idea is using this, I just use it on my back and then I spin it around and use it on my front and I'm getting my full full body. Whereas with this original, it only really does half. Uh, so you've got to do one half and then the other. However, it's really good for the side because um, it's probably the right width. So anyway, that was a rather long setup, but hopefully that shows you what's included with the Juve Max. Um, and then how to set it up and how not to set it up and um, yeah at practical applications you know again you can put it on the back of your back it on your back of your bedroom door you can put it on a closet um, you can hang it in your office you can hang it in your bedroom uh, bedroom wherever just um, probably if you're gonna put it straight on the wall probably measure out the, the brackets a little <clears throat> excuse me a little better than I did well, even though one of them was already there. Uh, and then you've got a variety of cables down there to use depending on how high or how low you want it. Uh, it doesn't come with the pulley system like the original does there. But to be honest, once that thing's up, you're not going to want to move it. Like like you just saw, it's doing... I'm um, 5'10", 178. Uh, and it's doing top of my head down to my knees. And it's covering all of that. Um, and that's kind of perfect. And then I can use the original to lower to do the side, uh, or I can use the mini if I want to do, you know, down lower. So anyway, um, hopefully that gave you a bit of insight. To be honest, if you do get one of these, I recommend unpacking it with the second person because it is quite bulky and large and heavy, and even getting out of the box was difficult. Um, again, I got the uh, the Max combo, so we've got red and. Uh, near infrared and the red light in there. What I'll do is I'll actually plug it in real quick. It does come with a rather long cable. Also, I didn't show this before. Um, it comes with a cable. It's about a power cable, about two meters, two and a half meters long. I don't know what that is in feet, maybe ten feet. Um, I'm in New Zealand, so I had to get an adapter because it does come with the American plug. It also comes with this timer which is actually really useful so you just set your time let's say you want to do 10 minutes on the front and then away you go and it will just count down it beats when it finishes really good but even better than that it's got a little mag magnet on the bottom on the back so it actually sticks to the panel so really really handy uh, you don't have to use your phone um, so I'm gonna plug that in real quick so you can see it working. Probably should have done this before I rested it on here. Okay. 
So there we go. It's putting out a lot of light. If you're wondering why not all the lights are shining, it's because the lights that appear like appear to be, the lights that appear not to be working are the um, 850 nanometer light. So that's your near infrared light. So that's invisible to the naked eye, which is why um, you can't see it. I'm well, shining at the 660 nanometers. So I don't know if you can hear the background were. Uh, there is a bit of noise there, but it's not, you know, it's not overpowering. I mean, you can still have a conversation. You can still be watching TV or whatever. It's just like this, you know, a, slight, a, a fan noise. It is a little bit louder than this one, of course, because there are more fans. Um, but it's nothing crazy. Uh, I don't really know what else to cover. If you have any questions, I'm just going to turn this off. If you, have, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you want to know, I don't know, how to use it or whatever. Uh, I have written a few articles on red light, so check them out as well. I've reviewed the Mini and the original and done, uh, done unboxing videos on them, so be sure to check them out. Uh, I'm going to do a full comparison between them all. Um, they should be up soon, so if it's not up already, be sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, by the way, if you want to order one of these, use code Alex, A-L-E-X, and you'll save a little bit as well. Um, but again, if there's something I've missed, please leave me a, leave me a, a comment or question below. So yeah, I know it wasn't probably the best video to show you set up, but I can't use these on the back of the door. If I could, uh, you just lock, you just sit this on the top of the door and then you don't drop it like that. You sit these on top of the door and then you use those, oh, these cables, which I have on the floor, use these to clip on and that's it ties onto the top which would be perfect uh, especially using these shorter cables because then you are pretty much got the right height sit on the back of the door it's not in the way of anything especially a bedroom door um, and yeah I mean you've got you've got red light in your bedroom when you wake up you know or, or in the, at night before you go to bed or whenever else you want to use it for me I actually want to set it up like this when I get into my new place. So I've got the Max on the front and then the original on the side and then do, you know, 10 minutes on the front. So I get in front and one side, spin around back and the other side. The Mini, uh, I'm not too sure where I'll use that yet. I'm, I'm thinking over here, but I'll sort that out when I get to the new place. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, again, if you've got questions, let me know. Otherwise, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or leave a comment or whatever else you wanna do. Bye.